At first glance, one could hardly spot anything really tentative about Graf Diamond's first appearance at Basel World earlier this year. The booth, 503 square meters upon a single elevated space, was designed by Graf's Monaco-based interior design team in the likeness of a Graf boutique. The booth was quite charming indeed, with walnut wall paneling and bronze feature showcases. However, it was the treasure within that triggered an almost dreamlike state. The sense of unreality was probably the result of one really expensive quartz watch, the Graf Diamond's hallucination, priced at $55 million $55 million, undoubtedly, the most valuable watch ever created. The incredible worth stems from 110 carats of really rare and really big colored diamonds set into a bracelet of platinum. Some of the rare diamond colors are fancy vivid yellow, fancy intense pink, fancy intense blue, fancy light pink, fancy light gray blue, fancy intense blue, fancy green and fancy orange. In addition, many different cuts are used, such as heart shape, pear shape, marquise, emerald, radiant, and round. I have detailed the colors and cuts to indicate the vast array of rare diamonds included in the Graf Diamonds Hallucination Watch. Where does the timepiece aspect come into all of this? Well, if you look really closely, you can make out the tiny quartz dial, framed by pink diamonds, delicately displaying uber-accurate time. No need for a power reserve or automatic winding, this baby keeps on ticking for months on end. The Graf Diamonds hallucination is perfect for the ladies. Or one very lucky lady, whose net worth will suddenly escalate in leaps and bounds. The idea of making this pricey piece of oat horology came from Lawrence Graf, the chairman of Graf Diamonds. After all, no one else on the lower rungs of the company ladder could even conceive of a $55 million timepiece without a raised eyebrow or two. Lawrence Graf's comments on the hallucination, the Graf hallucination is a sculptural masterpiece, a celebration of the miracle of colored diamonds. Mr. Graf was born and bred in London. He started out as an apprentice to a jeweler in the Hatton Garden District. Being a mere apprentice did not last long, very soon he was creating his own jewelry pieces. By the time he was 24, he had already opened two of his own jewelry stores in London. As he traveled the globe, his clientele grew, and so did the demand for more important jewelry pieces. Astoundingly, by the age of 30, he had set up one of the biggest jewelry manufacturing business in Britain. In 1973, he became the first jeweler to receive the Queen's Award to Industry and Export. He opened up his flagship store on Bond Street. Today, the company has 45 stores around the globe with corporate offices in London, New York, Geneva, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. Mr. Graf was toying with the idea of creating the Graf Diamonds Hallucination timepiece for quite some time. In Mr. Graf's words, for many years I have thought about creating a truly remarkable watch that illustrates our all-consuming passion for diamonds. The hallucination has made my dream a reality. I must say, at first glance, I was quite amazed and horrified that a single timepiece could cost so much, but after delving into the process by which a single rare colored diamond is sourced from a rough stone, cut to perfection, polished, and finally set into the piece of jewelry or timepiece, I realized each and every diamond is a story unto itself. A simple tongue clasp secures the Graf Diamond's hallucination around the wrist. The clasp is hidden once the bracelet is closed and can only be unfastened by placing pressure on a single diamond. Why would Graf make such a grand piece? Graf unveiled the hallucination to showcase the company's authority, skill, innovation, and excellence in the diamond industry, from manufacturing to retail. After all, Lawrence Graf is the controlling shareholder in the South African Diamond Corporation or Saftico. Saftico is one of the main diamond producers in South Africa, sporting the largest polishing and cutting factories based out of Johannesburg. Tens of thousands of Graf diamonds are cut and polished each year and the best of the best are used to create Graf jewelry. 
Among the thousands of diamonds, Mr. Graff is always looking for the rarest diamond, either in a raw or cut and polished. In his quest for the ultimate diamond, some of the most treasured gemstones have passed through his fingers. The latest of which is the famous 550 quart Lutsang star which was found, as with many other rare graft diamonds, in the Lutsang mine in Lesotho. The hunt for diamonds goes on. We search on a daily basis for stones in the rough or polished. The best stones are rarer than anyone could ever imagine, Lawrence Graff said. The Graff Diamonds Hallucination Watch holds many of these rare finds in a single timepiece. Top-notch designers, gemologists, and master craftsmen spent literally thousands of hours creating this piece of horological jewelry. The diamonds are cleverly hand-fitted into the invisible platinum setting to create a multicolored bracelet heaving under the weight of its valuable load. Graf unveiled its line of luxury timepieces in 2009, and now boasts 50 models in 5 collections, technical, sport, evening, jeweled, and bespoke. Graf is the creator of the intriguing Master Graf Grand Day Dual Time Turbulent which incorporates three different complications into a single timepiece, the Flying Turbulent, Dual Time Function, and Grand Date. Why have I mentioned this triple complication timepiece by Graf? Because I cannot fathom why Graf created a $55 million timepiece with a quartz movement. I must admit the quartz movement seemed almost like an afterthought, whereby an exceedingly expensive bracelet quite suddenly became a watch. Perhaps Lawrence Graf wanted a diminutive dial so as not to detract from the rarity of the gemstones. Perhaps certain ladies of great worth do not care for mechanical mastery, but rather the glitter of diamonds. After all, did Marilyn Monroe not say, diamonds are a girl's best friend? Or perhaps only a quartz movement could fit into the structure of the bracelet without unduly distressing the careful placement of 110 quart of rare colored diamonds. In any event, I think Mr. Graf realized he went a tad over the top with the outrageous value of the Graf Diamonds hallucination, especially to the layperson who may scrutinize every aspect of the timepiece. Thus, to quell the cries of indigent disbelief from the masses, he cushioned the blow with the title of the timepiece, The Hallucination.